My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> More of the same. Now, sounds like someone made a stinky. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. I can't believe it's almost Halloween. Need to finish making Sean's costume. Coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry for next week's Halloween. New Coca Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Rated A.
<laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning! vault calling! Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... <laughs> A precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Miss Lara, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? <laughs> My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Wait, we seem to what? have lost contact with what our did he say? stations. Oh, no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and.
Castlevania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the way. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no. We don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Is here for you. Just this All way. All new residents, please Female. proceed in an order. This way. This way. This way, please. Step over to the table. You'll need your suits Just before this we can way. take you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. <laughs> See. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Well, not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we Ma had. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Every step of the way. It's a good fit, don't you think? Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Hey. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Just step into the chamber. It'll be okay. My Sean's acting up. Pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the hall. Just realize. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. This is the one. 
here. Open it. Why would Baltic do this? Cryopod manual release override. Come on. There has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Manual release override. Why? Why did they do this? Malfunction in cryopod manual release override. Oh God. Why did they do this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 
Roaches? What the hell?
What happened here? Where is everyone? that's left nice coming back later for you
Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out?
and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you as Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? He can't be dead. He can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Mum, these things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth. Listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're, uh, two centuries late for dinner! <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack, if you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... <laughs> Mum, it's been just horrible! Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs. And mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. Mm. Oops. <laughs> no, no, little fingers away. Just say it. Right there. Right there. Go ahead. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Hi, honey. Listen. I don't think Sean and I need to tell you how great of a mother you are. But we're going to anyway. 
You were kind and loving and funny. <laughs> That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, as your mother used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being at home together, it's been an amazing year, but even so, I know our best days are yet to come. There will be changes, sure, things we'll need to adjust to. I'll rejoin the civilian workforce. You'll shake the dust off your law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye, honey. We love you. That'll leave us dead. I don't need to pain, you know. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Codsworth. Miss Laura. Sir and young Sean. They aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're the Remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front.
nice. Yes. 